Hey guys, just a really quick tip today. One of the best ways for you to dial in your sound and your tone and all your settings is to use the looper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a looper block in here, just a single button looper. I'm gonna put it to the very front of the chain. I have an in-depth video about how to use a looper if you really wanna know, but I mean, it's just push it once and it records, push it again and it plays back, which is all we need to know for this demo. So I'm just gonna lay down the first half of a riff that I actually use on this preset. Obviously for this video, I have to loop with my hand. So you're gonna have this pause, but just deal with it for the sake of the video. But now what I can do is I can start messing around with the tones to dial it in how I want it to sound. So I can change the amp. I can mess with some EQs. I can change the reverb type. I can change the delay type. At the end, I can say, oh, I wanna turn up a little bit of the low end, cut a little bit of the higher mids, cut some of the highs or whatever you want to do to it. But now it's looping and you can hear it in real time. And then you can dial in your sound without having to worry about playing and listening at the same time. It can be really useful for like venues and sound check too, especially if you like run your own sound and stuff like that. So setting up a loop and then messing with your tones is a good way just to kind of dial it in to get the sound that you want. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys found this video useful, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button to feed the YouTube algorithm. Check out some of my other music tech quick tips by clicking the links on your screen now. I have a whole playlist of them. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more music tech quick tips like this in the future.